26th of August, National Day of Prayer. And uh, it is a day of coming and repent together as a nation. The population of 7.5 million people come every year on 20, uh, 26th of uh, August and prayer and ask for forgiveness, repentance for what the past as ancestors or past people have done, now people have done and repent for, for tomorrow. The 26th of August, everybody works up at 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock the people in the city will go at the uh, where place where everybody gather together and uh, other provinces and uh, uh, also districts they go also to various places where the main government station or church they use in very common place in port in 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 in, uh, in our city here in port mosby we use uh, parliament and that's where we go up and prayer at national parliament house Looking at uh, at least uh, yeah, almost uh, more than thousand to two thousand people come uh, in prayer. We come and the for repentance. Uh, that we have a leadership that uh, comprises of body of Christ uh, and also comprises of uh, government, comprises of uh, the professional people, comprises of church. Uh, and uh, we all get together and uh, we the church take leadership uh, when the churches take leadership and then we set a program uh, but uh, uh, for this one today this month uh, is a very important one because uh, the government has taken over the program uh, with the 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 Prime Minister and the Speaker of Parliament has taken over the program. It, it's beginning with the church. It's the Church of Jesus Christ as we've been uh, praying uh, for the last 30, almost uh, 30, 30 years. Last few years, like uh, uh, since the new government came, uh, we have uh, we have really changed of a uh, system and change of thinking. Uh, the old members are gone, and uh, we are now putting actually new young men are taking over the government. Here. This is a national day; it's a public holiday, also declared by our prime minister and the government. Here. So five o'clock in the morning, everybody come. And uh, the one church group has been selected and they taking a the lead. And there will be a worship, just like big church service that happened. Uh, and then different provinces, provinces, state, they are all, all appointed by the, this church and said, look, uh, we want you to pray this one and like repentance for that province or district or repentance on behalf of your people or your district. Uh, that's uh, that's the five o'clock in the morning. They come in, and then they sing and worship, uh, and then various uh, uh, group will come and also testify that what is God is doing to other provinces. Papua New Guinea need, in each country, you know, and each nation has its own problem. But Papua New Guinean problem is, is it's been a, a 30, 39 years of, of independence. And there's not much change that happened. 
In other words, there are so much corruption, there are so much bad things were happening, bad government and bad leadership. But uh, now this government has taken over. It begins uh, uh, last uh, two years ago almost, uh, the government changed. And uh, when the government changed, and now things are happening for us, uh, good things are happening. And so uh, uh, we as a church feel this is the right way to do. Church and a government must be a partners to work hand in hand together. By the Lord God will cause you to walk. By the Lord God will say that this is the land that I have created and I have given to you. For you shall say today, I forgive. There's only word that I want to hear from you is the forgiveness. Today, wherever you are in the valley experience, up in the mountains and valleys, in the cities and towns and settlements, whether you have no home, no job, whether you have things or you don't have things, uh, today you see things are happening. You will see that there is the days that you don't. This is the day that I have come to visit you today. I have heard your prayer all this generation. Last 37, 38 days, 38, 9 years, I have heard your prayer, said the Lord. For I have heard your prayer, said the Lord. 7.5 million people, I have heard your cry, said the Lord. I have heard your cry for that last generation. And the generation has passed, but I have come today to hear you, said the Lord. When independence came, uh, 1975, uh, a lot of Australians left, so a lot of Papua New Guinea is taken over. And as now back in the 80s, in 1975 to 80s, government was good because uh, because uh, they they are still influence of the Australian colonize, colonization system was still existing. But in 1980 to 90, after independence, things didn't go well with us. We took over without good experience. No, nobody was trained properly in, in politics, in economics, in business, uh, in also even the church work. Nobody was trained properly. By 80 and 90, a lot of dropouts, grade six dropouts and a lot of school leavers didn't make it to school. They didn't have a job. And then the crime rate went up. That's when I began to get involved with the gangs in 1975 to 1980. In 1985, I began to fast and prayer for 30 days, 40 days fasting. Father, recognize in your worship, your grace, your power, your fire, that will burn out every sin, every condemnation, every guilt in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we come and ask, oh God, restore us back again, Father. That our fathers, the poverty Gideons, have stolen nation, oh God. We have fasting and praying begin to birth out from there. And, and then other people begin to fast and pray. And so we become a praying church, or so we start the church here in Morata called Christian Life Faith Center. We are called upon you, O God. Today is our soul is be still and know that the Lord is our God. Our businesses are coming back again. Our forest money is coming back again. Our sea money is coming back again. Oh God. Our land money is stolen, things are coming back again. Our government purse money are coming back again. Hallelujah. Father, we are standing in this parliament, oh God. We are standing and 7.5 million people have standing and cry out to you, Father. Today, we call upon the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. After the prayer and uh, we start from uh, five o'clock right up to to at least good three four hours, and that means five six seven by eight uh, we should finish, and uh, everybody goes at nine o'clock, and then uh, they go and change, and uh, 
they come back for lunch with the Prime Minister and the Speaker of Parliament. We would like to continue to practice what we have stated publicly to our people and that is that we thank our good Lord for the essential goodness that he has provided for Papua New Guinea. Despite our many differences, many challenges, and of course many failings, we have to build a better future for our country. Today, with our many millions of Christians in this country, we are building that future together. And we need to continue to work together in making sure that we have a genuine achievement of national pride and unity. And I think the essential goodness of our communities and our people and our nation offers the greatest hope for our country. There are three points that I pray that uh, God to give me Papua New Guinea. This was the first prayer all the time. God give me Papua New Guinea for kingdom purposes, kingdom use. And the second prayer was change Papua New Guinea to become a Christian nation. And the uh, third prayer is God to raise up our prophets and apostles and men and women of God in Papua New Guinea to go, around, go, around, go, go, to, go to the world, but also make an impact in Papua New Guinea. So that was our prayer and fasting I pray all the time. with your inspiration station, One Talk Radio Light. Hello, me Pastor Matthew Jordan from Soldiers of Christ Band. Now you welcome out in One Talk Radio Light, your inspiration station. Be blessed. Inspiration station, we want to create your light. Uh, one of my inside long, uh, beautiful country, but you know me, P and G. Suppose you walk long, uh, put him y'all want to create your light. Uh, thank you, true long company, but you believe all the same. Uh, this flow, Wednesday morning time, but you he walk long, come up all right. So, all right, time, bring me the studio now. It's now all the same uh, 24 plus minute. It looks like it's uh, 7 o'clock long, uh, bring him 8 o'clock, and uh, you may get in the soul program praying for the nation coming up next. And uh, of course, uh, Pastor Charles Lapa is already in the house and uh, he will lead us in the program praying for the nation. Uh, so, uh, yes, you may ask him, you all listeners across from PNZ, uh, those uh, prayer warriors and intercessors out there, uh, pastors, preachers, evangelists, missionaries, you can join us this time as we get together and pray for our nation PNZ. Without much delay, let's get straight now into the program praying for the nation. Praying for the nation, a program that brings Papua New Guinea to the throne. For our nation, Papua New Guinea, which we pray as united together, as a nation come together, and we ask God to restore back this nation. 
Restore back everything that stolen from the even before independence. Restore back everything that has been taken out from our country. Restore back everything what God has done for us, but the enemy has stolen. This is what the Word of God said today, and let us pray. Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus in this devotion. We bring our children, our father, our mothers, our government, our business houses, and I, every one of us, our districts and our towns and, and provinces. We come back down to you as you know, and we all know, and we walk together with you. This nation has been declared as Christian nation, and therefore we thank you. And we want to say, we want to say thank you for everything. Today, we give you praise, honor to you. I pray for the nation every day, five days a week. I pray for the nation for healing. Uh, I pray for the nation for repentance. I pray for nation to speak to the nation, the prophetic words. Uh, I also uh, pray for the nation and the government and the public servant, the business houses. Uh, then I pray for provinces by province uh, or district by district. Uh, I also pray for, for prisons, uh, people who are in prison, people who are in, uh, in hospitals. Uh, I pray also for uh, a church unity. Uh, to churches to work together, as, uh, as Psalm 133 says. Um, I pray for unity among the also uh, churches around the nation, across the across the nation, and also I pray for public servants to work also as a as a united together, united force as a government, and the government to work together as a team to bring the deliverance to the nation. Uh, I also pray for governors in the provinces to work together, uh, and I also pray for uh, our young young men, young women who are at universities and schools and children, and uh, right down to fathers and mothers. I pray for their marriages, marriage to be restored back, and, <clears throat> and I also pray for our young people who are at universities, uh, and uh, so you can see all this list of things that I prayer right through. Uh, as I pray, I, it's, it's a five days a week. Every day I have a subject that I take and, and also from the Word of God. And, and then with that subject, with the scriptures, we, I begin to uh, pray. And, uh, and, and like today we base on uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, uh, verse uh, 17. And God said, For I will restore you to heal and I will heal you of your wounds, declares the Lord. And that is God's book, and that's God's word. We take God's word literally as it is. We don't take this just like a history or a story, no. We take that God speaks. He's, he left his word here, and so we take his word and we pray on it. And, uh, and then God also always works, because God says also, in, you know, as uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, Verse 10 said, Hear the word of the Lord, all nations, and declare it at the coastlines as far off, and said, He who scared Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. We might be done. We might be poor. We might be poverty stricken, maybe lawlessness. A lot of bad things are happening, happening. But God said, I allowed that happen. But if a nation listen to me, if a nation come back and repent, and it said, I will come, I will heal you. Because again, God said in his own word. And his, his word is, yeah, yeah, and amen. And we believe 100% what he says. And we do it. And just, that's why this radio program is very important. Because this radio program now going to remote areas where no car goes, no missionary goes, but the radio goes. And that's why it's so powerful. I know that Papua New Guinea is blessed with many blessings. Blessings with uh, very good people. Our land has been blessed, very fertile, our seas and our resources. And of course, our Christian churches continue to part 
many of the teachings of Jesus Christ and the churches in those blessings as well. We are blessed with some of the work that they do, the churches do throughout the country, in terms of provision of education to our kids, provision of health care to our sick, and of course building capacity and provision of counseling to many of our communities throughout the country. Again, as we enter the 40th anniversary of our independence of our country, we need to come together like this. Uh, at the luncheon, the speaker speaks, and, and then the Prime Minister speaks, uh, and then uh, the Body of Christ, uh, the Chairman speaks. Uh, and then, uh, after that, luncheon is closed, and then 2 o'clock is Parliament sitting. So, 2 o'clock Parliament sitting, the Prime Minister will, uh, will lead the members to Parliament and that the speaker will uh, take his seat and the members will be seated. Uh, and then they will uh, uh, sit down and then the speaker will appoint the members of uh, parliament to prayer uh, for their own provinces. The, when, when members are prayed, members of parliament have to do the prayer and then comes the speaker, then the speaker will invite a pastor to go and prayer. The pastor will pray now, he will pray for overall and uh, dedicate the entire members of parliament and the nation to the Lord and then we end it back to the speaker. Then the uh, parliament speaker will now say of all those who agree and everybody says yes we agree. And then the, the, the business, uh, government business leader uh, will say that uh, this business is closed. The members are now coming to prayer, the entire congregation from all around the city. Uh, everybody come there at gallery and they sit and watch and prayer together with the members of parliament. And uh, all of us come and we need God to help right now. We need God to intervene and that's what happened as today. Yeah, impact is big because now God is doing some great things in government and also in the churches. People feel it literally. 26th of uh, August is uh, Mina Lord. It is a day that the nation is transformation has began. In other words, new dawn. New dawn. And it's a transformation because we are now entering, we have entering the 40th anniversary in 2015. And the preparation and has begun, and this is a new dawn. And as our brothers have spoken, Prime Minister has spoken, this is a new dawn for us, for prosperity and blessings.